okay guys these are not blank hats these is hats that's already been been put in a position they have a sweatband in it and what i do uh, i just i'm doing this video for purposes if you guys wind up getting uh, a bulk of hats and they wind up being smushed smashed how you can do it but for me i like to revamp everything so a lot of times when i get these hats i would instantly take the sweatband out because i want to make it i want to i want to expand it to the max you know i want to get try to get as much as i can get out of this hat so i instantly take that out so as you can see i'm in the process of reshaping this hat because i don't want every single hat to be in the same exact shape okay so what i'm gonna do and don't put steam to your canvas thing maybe if you got the, the canvas wig block with the uh uh stuff on it you can use that one don't use this one because that one will melt from the amount of heat so what I do, I'm just heating this up because I want to change the shape. I don't want every shape to be the same. So that's why with the vendor that we talked about before, that's why y'all will see me get a lot of my hats from a vendor, meaning those hats has not been molded and scratched. And, and, and I know I, can, I can't pronounce that right. So that's why I like to do it myself. But you could take an existing hat and kind of do a little bit with it but you ain't gonna get that beauty of like when you see me take a hat that's not um pre-done for you so to get that shape i push it around going like in a circle and Y'all see the top of this hat, what I'm doing? So that's how I'm able to get this type of shape. I'm using this mannequin head so that I can have this type of crown in the top of the hat, okay? So that's why y'all see me doing it like that. So to get that shape and to pretty much have it locked in, the best way is to... Pretty much, I will let it dry in that position. I let it dry in that position, and that's going to lock in the shape. So if you decide to take out the sweatband and try to do a remolding, you're not going to get that much. You know, you'll get a little here and there. So you're not going to get a whole lot like how you like it. Like, I like tall hats. You ain't going to really get that. You know, you can manipulate it. A little bit so I take it out because I be needing it to expand as much as it can I be needing to expand so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry in that shape and then it'll give me when I put it back on there the crown that I want for this hat and, oh, y'all need to know y'all front from y'all back. So I put a pin here because if you pull out the sweatband, you won't be able to know what's the front of your hat, what's the back of your hat. So keep that in mind. You don't want to have a hat and you got it on backwards. So you need to know your front of your hat from the back of your hat. Okay? So with that being said, that's how I reshape the molds of these hats. And this is just regular water and I'm using... A professional hat steamer if you don't have a professional hat steamer use a steam iron and um, go from there so okay we're gonna let these dry in that mold and then we'll go from there thanks for watching mm -hmm. Toodles.